Hi, everybody. Alan Rodriguez here, founder of 1400, the law innovation agency. I put together a video today because I want to share with you the way we've automated um, our measurement of customer satisfaction here at 1400. Uh, we, we get feedback from our clients all the time. You know, how do you go about doing this? Is this a very laborious process? Like, I'm not even sure how to measure customer satisfaction. So we thought kind of sharing the way we do it here might inspire you to create your own system there. Or if at the end of the video, you would like to adopt our system, we're happy to just share our, our spreadsheet and some of the tool sets that we use to do um, to perform this specific function. Before I go into the automation, though, I do want uh, to say that we use the net promoter score as the metric for uh, measuring success at 1400. Our goal is to hit above 60% um, uh, satisfaction under that metric. And for those of you that are familiar with that, know that that's a very difficult uh, number to reach. If you're not currently using net promoter score to measure satisfaction, I, I strongly encourage that uh, you consider adopting it. We all know from you know being in business and working in the legal industry that word of mouth referrals always convert at a higher uh, rate than say leads coming off of other uh, advertising platforms like AdWords or search engine optimization. Um, and net promoter score really helps kind of identify who those people are who are have a higher likelihood of referring you business in the future. So. Um, Going into details about how they do that is a whole other video, but I will say if you want to learn more about Net Promoter Score, you can go to sapmetrics.com, uh, who are the co-founders of uh, or the co-developers of the groundbreaking study that's used to measure customer experience, or a simple internet search on Google, right, for Net Promoter Score or NPS. All right, so assuming that you're using Net Promoter Score, like how do we do this here at 1400? So at 1400, um, anytime we have a client deliverable, maybe that's like a website mock up or it's a monthly report for some of the SEO results that we're generating for a client, or maybe it's a branding strategy document or a marketing strategy document or you know some consulting work that we've done, whatever that client deliverable is, once we've given that to the client, we've automated a way for kind of sending them out uh, a survey uh, in the back end. So in our case, we use a marketing automation tool called Active Campaign, and you see that form here. Um, but the tool set that we've applied beyond this is really just Google Sheets or an Excel spreadsheet uh, and a Google form um, that, that we use ultimately at the end of the day. And so those are the tools that you might be using as well. So in, in our case, what we've done is we've set up a uh, Google form Right, uh, it's you know you can do this for free. You can set this up. Many of you probably have a Google business account already, um, but basically what we're doing is we're asking the one question per net promoter. So, how likely would you be to recommend one four hundred to a friend or colleague? Is the question. Uh, you know, with our goal being nines and tens. Uh, seven and eights are detractors for those of you, or excuse me, not detractors, but passives for, for those of you familiar with the study. And one, one through six are uh, uh, detractors as well. So we do have an optional uh, placement for the name. Um, if you want to fill that in, you can in our case. Some people don't even ask for a name. Uh, and then we have two additional questions in, in our case. But again, for... Um, uh, according to the study itself, you should only be asking the one question, but in, in our form, we've also included um, two other questions. So, you know, did our work consistently meet or exceed your expectations? Um, were we responsive and available uh, to you when you needed us? And then a space for just kind of general additional comments, right? So, you know, you can manually send this form by clicking on the send button, um, grabbing a link, uh, copying that and sending it out via email. Um, and then getting your responses that way. In our case, what we've done is through our marketing automation tool, we'll actually type in an email address of, um, uh, of a client. I'm just going to use my, my own uh, email there as an example. And that triggers an actual automation um, that will uh, trigger a subsequent response by automating the sending out of this form. That's really kind of how we do it. I know many of you don't either use Active Campaign or have some marketing automation tools. So just sending out the link um, post consultation, maybe it's a post delivery of that estate plan 
or um, you know at the finalization of some client matter, uh, you know settlement of a case or something like that, getting that survey out. What, whatever those kind of milestone deliverables are for you, is when the survey should go out. You know, so what happens is when somebody fills out uh, the form, it provides uh, the feedback is uh, entered into this Google uh, sheet in real time. So here we can see the recent dates, um, times. I've, I've changed the names in these spreadsheets just to protect the, the privacy of our clients here. But um, you can see, you know, at the start of the year, it looks like we're off to a pretty good start. You know, we got an eight there, um, which is a passive, you know, our goal. But the project's still midway through, so we still have an opportunity to kind of turn that person around um, and make them feel delighted, you know, in kind of uh, the deliverables that we've, we've sent their way. So it captures all the information um, that people send to us. Uh, and then we have another tab here. I'll show you what the, uh, that goes about um, automating the calculation. So there's a certain formula involved with calculating the net promoter score. Uh, and, and again, you know, without going into all the details, net promoter score, nines and tens are the desired outcomes. So you know, we have those tracked in green. Eights and sevens are happy people, but they're kind of passive. They might not be singing the praises. And then uh, ones through sixes are, are really detractors. Something's wrong in how we've delivered the service. Maybe it was the communication. Um, maybe we gave them some deliverables that they were um, – not so excited about and didn't have the courage to tell us that in real time, you know, on feedback on a call. But whatever the reason, when we get a one through or six, we're picking up the phone, we're calling that person, we're trying to resolve that issue, really get to the core of what's going on um, and really try to turn them around and get them to a nine and 10. But in either case, the point of this is to kind of demonstrate how, you know, we've got a few mathematical formulas in here, like the count if responses. So, all the responses happen automatically, they're all calculated, so we can always get a real-time running total of what our, our net promoter score is at any given time. Uh, our internal um, goal is to have uh, clients uh, at a greater than 60%. Um, I'm showing you this, we're at a 50% right now, that's actual data, but it's the first of the year, um, and we've just started this, so not a whole lot of people have filled out our survey. Um, but as we do, we'll collect the data and then our score will be uh, matched in real time. So uh, just something I thought I'd share with you because I, I really feel like measuring your customer satisfaction is very important. And this is a, a way to kind of automate that process without it having to be a lot of work. Um, again, it does the calculations for you. It's in real time. It's cumulative. So you can track that anytime. Uh, if any of you are interested in getting a copy of this spreadsheet, so that way you have the formulas all kind of built into this model, um, happy to share it with you. Send us an email at info at 1400 uh, one400one400one400.com or uh, DM us on the social media channel where you've watched this video. And as always, if you have any questions about... Um, you know, like uh, law firm operations, uh, law firm marketing, or any other questions that we might be of assistance to, don't hesitate to kind of reach out to us. So hope you enjoyed it, uh, and I'll be sharing more stuff in coming weeks. Bye now.